Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Night Sky A Gamer, and this is WWE 2K22 My Rise Episode 14. As we're here to talk to Adam Pierce. Don't know if you heard, but there's a superstar shakeup coming up. How do you think that's going to turn out for me? That's up to you. Since you're a main eventer here on SmackDown, you have the option to be protected from switching brands. Or you could choose to be eligible. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. Yeah, I'm sorry I have unfinished Smackdown. business here on SmackDown. So keep me out of the shakeup. Okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I haven't been on uh, SmackDown uh, that long. I just got here like a few episodes ago. King of the Ring tournament. Turn down the match against uh, let's go to the pool hall. So, uh, this is episode 14. There's going to be one more episode that I think I'm going to be done for, like, uh, this week because I won't be able to upload episode 16 until maybe on Saturday. So here's Jay Pierce. I know you and I have mostly been doing our own thing on SmackDown, but I think it's time for that to change. Why is that? Because we have a special bond from training together at the PC. What? Even though we weren't always on the same page, that bond is still there. It means something. Just tell me what you want. What I want is the Intercontinental Championship. And I want you to help me get it. I already have my old buddy Nakamura here, and there's power in numbers. If you'll join us. Help Paragon go after Big E's title. Reach out for the team up against Big E. Put up a decision. Okay, I'm willing to give this a shot. What's your plan? I've already had a couple matches, but he's always found a way to escape with his championship. So with our help, you're going to beat him. Then give me a title match. Deal? So how about tonight I get his attention? He has a match scheduled, but I'll make sure he never makes it to the ring. I like it. See? I have a feeling this is going to work out just fine. So, as I was saying earlier, that uh, I'm not going to switch brands on SmackDown because I haven't uh, been in SmackDown like not too long ago. What's happening here? He's ambushing Big E. That's what's happening. He's not even scheduled to face Big E tonight. Somebody needs to get out here and put an end to this. So he attacked Big E. So in the meantime, uh, before I go back after the universal title picture, I guess I could... Wait a minute. Let's get to 
telling you for now. So, I think I might go after the Big E and win the Intercontinental Championship. And who knows, maybe I could be able to hold both Intercontinental Championship slash Universal Championship all at the same time. The following contest is a three-on-two tag team handicap match. Time to think big! <laughs> a powerhouse. BK. Michaels is going to have to dig deep here. Yeah. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. Biggie on the receiving end. Just a relentless series of strikes. but it's a little early for that. He got whipped into that corner. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Reciprocating the initial reversal. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Ouch. That's just a beat down. Whoa, not blocking. Quick take down there. Blasted by a four. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh, a strong impact. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. No way. Astounding power. Days. Incredible. Big E's completely out of it. Two, three, three. That's incredible. Win. That's a pretty big win. Here are your winners. Robert Jackson. So we picked up the victory, guys. I didn't even tag in 
Nakamura and I didn't even tag in Jay Pierce. I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be the Intercontinental Championship match between myself and Big E. about to break out. Introducing the challenger. After an explosive handicap match last week, Intercontinental Champion Big E defends his title against a hungry superstar looking for his first IC championship. Big E's opponent is stepping into the spotlight, but you have to wonder how much of an impact Paragon J. Pierce and Shinsuke Nakamura will have on this match. Whether they get involved or not, I think the odds are against Big E walking away with his championship. Expected Shinsuke Nakamura is here to help the challenger take down Big E. How much more one sided can this match get? Oh man, just stomping. Ouch. No gut punch. Nasty. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. Kick to the gut. Oh, good throw. This is... Here's the pin title on the line! Here we go! And the pin is broken by the champion. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. Nice counter from Big E. The U-turn Big E needed in this match could have been right there. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Big 
gets him with the counter. Waist lock. Across the shoulders. Down and set up spine buster. Looking for the victory. Two. Two. Three. And with the help of his teammates, Pentagon, Jay Pierce, and Shinsuke Nakamura, we have a new Intercontinental Champion. I think Big E might have gotten in over his head, taking on this new group. He was able to fend off Paragon for a while, but this was just too much tonight. I'd like to see how Big E does in a fair one on one match with no outside involvement. Then we'll talk. So we finally did it guys, we captured our two out of four championships for this My Rise of Robert Jackson. First it was the inner, I mean the NXT championship two times, now it's the Intercontinental Championship. So I think I'm going to end this video right here. What you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Leave a like, share, subscribe, favorite, and I will see all of you guys later.